Hello everybody and welcome to freetechtutor.org. My name is Rachelle and today I am going to show you around a Microsoft Word document. So if you are just learning how to use Microsoft Word and this is Microsoft Word 2010 from the Microsoft Office 2010 suite. If you are just learning how to use Word I would suggest and I would hope that this is the very first video that you will want to view. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. All right, so the first thing that I want to show you here is the quick access toolbar. Now, um, the quick access toolbar is this, this little row of tools right here, and it basically does just like what it sounds like. It allows you to access um, specific functions uh, quickly. You can actually customize this page or customize this toolbar if you want to. If you look here you can go ahead and click the drop down and you can add and remove different functions depending on how often you use them. So let's just say I don't use the, the print function, the quick fr print function very much. As you can see it's already checked. If I uncheck it, it removes that little print, quick print function. Alright, so the next thing that I want to show you is or are the command tabs. The command tabs are um, your file, home, insert, page layout, references, mailings, review, and view tabs. Now, um, if you are familiar with Microsoft Office or Microsoft Word 2007, you're already well familiar with these tabs and what they do. If you're coming from the Microsoft 2003 environment, you will notice a huge change. And the change comes in um, the form of this, what is called the ribbon. So now this whole strip from under the home tab from paste to find and replace is the ribbon. All of this little area here is the ribbon. The ribbon corresponds with the command tabs. So as you can see when I click the different command tabs the ribbon actually changes. So if I go from home which is the default command tab to let's just go to page layout. If I if I go from home to page layout you can see that the ribbon has changed. Here in the home um, tab you have like um, functions that show your font um, the font size, basic functions to bold, italicize, and underline, and all that good stuff. But when you go to page layout, as you can see, the ribbon changes, and it gives me different themes. Um, it'll um, allow me to place a watermark, give me a whole different page color, as you can see. See how the page colors change? You can actually put borders around your page if you want to here. Um, do a lot of different things. And so you should take the time to familiarize yourself with the ribbon. Again, the ribbon corresponds with these command tabs and the ribbon changes depending upon the tab or the command tab that you are under. Next thing here that I'm going to show you on Microsoft Word 2010 is the um, tab stop button. Here you can click to select the uh, different types of tab stops. Also here, um, you will see that there's a ruler here, and um, this ruler kind of pretty much helps you, helps guide you to find where you are. You've got a ruler here on the left-hand side, and you've got a ruler up here. You also have what is known as the line status bar. The line status bar tells you about the particular document that you are in. Now, for this particular document that I have open right here, as you can see from what's written here, from what's shown here, there are 10 pages of the document. And right now, I'm on page 1 of 10. Um, another thing on the line status bar is the word count. The word count is, is pretty important, especially if you are a student, because you know you have like freshman comp classes where they tell you, oh, you have to have a, a paper due and it has to be this this many words. So this is where your word count comes in. If you click it, you'll get a handy little box that'll show you, again, the amount of pages, the amount of words, the amount of characters without spaces, the amount of characters with spaces, the amount of paragraphs that are in the document, and the amount of lines there. 
Another thing I'm going to show you here is that if you look off to the bottom right, you'll see the different kinds of views that you can see um, here in uh, Microsoft Word. So the first is the print layout view and that's your default view. That's what you have here. So this is what your document will actually look like when you print it. The second is a full screen reading view. So if you want to actually um, read your document full screen here on the computer, all you have to do is go ahead and click that. And as you can see, it opens up and it allows you to uh, um, read your document with easier access. And we'll go ahead and close that. Another view that you have here is the web layout view. This view shows you how this document will look if you actually published it to the web. So if you put this document on the internet, this is pretty much how it's going to look. Another, the last two views that we have here are really helpful um, for when you have to edit your document. They are the uh, outline view, which outlines your document and the draft view. And the last thing that I'm going to show you in this little, um, let's go ahead and put this back on um, print layout view. So the last thing that I'm going to show you here on this little tour of a Word document is the zoom control. The zoom control t allows you to obviously zoom out and zoom in on a document. And as you can see, here's what it looks like at 100% zoom. And if I need to get a little bit closer, or as close as I need to get, I just zoom in a little bit farther. And it actually allows you to go from a 10% zoom, which shows you all of the pages, but who can read those, right? All the way up to a 500% zoom. And I said that was the last thing, but I did want to show you something else. These, if you're not familiar, are um, is a navigation bar, and it allows you to pull your document down, or make it scroll down, or have it to scroll up. You can actually also control the scroll with the bar. Just grab a hold of the bar, and it actually gives you a guide to where you are. Right now, you're on page one. You can have it um, scroll down, and it'll show you where you are in the document up there. Also, you can uh, go up by page. If you look at these little buttons down here, as you can see, it'll take you to the previous page, and it'll take you a page down. So that's all that I have for you today. This has been pretty much a tour of a Microsoft Word 2010 document. And again, hopefully if you are just learning how to use Microsoft Word, this is, or this should be, the very first uh, video that you view. Again, I want to thank you so much for uh, hanging out with me today here at freetechtutor.org, and have a great day.